Hello friends, today we're going to start something brand new. We're going to start something called fiction writing. Fiction writing is pretend writing. So it's, pre it's writing about pretend things that happen. I'm sure you've read lots of fictional stories before about kids who go on adventures or animals that go on adventures. Today we're going to be able to write our very own fictional story. There are three main things that we want to think about when we write a fictional story. We want to give our character a name. So we want to pick a character. It can be a human, it can be an animal, it could be um, a boy or a girl or somebody um, like a grandma or a grandpa or it could be a frog or it could be a dog. So you can think of any kind of character that you want. For me, I chose a little boy named Bobby. I named him Bobby. I came up with this character all on my own. Then you need to imagine a place. Maybe your character is going to go to the park. Maybe your character is going to fly in the sky. For me, my character is going to go to this big castle. Then you need to imagine an adventure. My character is going to go into the castle and try to get all of the treasure from this dragon right here. Your adventure might be something different. Your character might fly in the sky and meet a new friend, like meet a bird in the sky. Or your character might be on a boat. They might be going on an adventure out at sea. You can think of any kind of character any kind of place and any kind of adventure that you want your character to go on. I wrote a short story today, just a few sentences. It says, one day, Bobby wanted to go to the castle in a far away land. And I did an exclamation point right here because I was really excited about my character. My character was traveling to a castle in a far away land. And remember, we put explanation points at the end of a at the end of a sentence whenever we want to express um, excitement. My next sentence says, "He wanted to get the buried treasure from the scary dragon." Now, I didn't finish my story because I kind of wrote an, a beginning to the story. I wrote why my character was going to go on an adventure but I didn't write a middle and I didn't write an end. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to write about what exactly happened to Bobby when he went to the castle. Did he get stopped by the castle guards or did he get hurt along the way? Was he able to defeat the dragon and get the treasure? I'm gonna think about that and then I'm going to write about it. I have a video that you're going to watch after you watch this video about things that make really good fiction stories, things we need to include to make a really great fiction story. So when we write a fiction story, we want to make sure we have our characters, we have our setting, which is where the story takes place, and then we have what the character is doing, like Bobby, who was going to defeat the scary dragon. You also want to make sure that you give a beginning, middle, and an end of your story. If I stopped my story right here with this sentence, he wanted to get the buried treasure from the scary dragon, then you might be thinking, did he ever get the treasure? Was he able to do it? Or what happened on his adventure? These are some things you're going to think about today as you're creating your very own fiction story.